What's up, friends? It is Friday. I'm about to film a big old Amazon uh, wedding guest dress haul. It's a mouthful. But, um, yeah, I kind of blacked out and got too many, like way too fucking many, but it is what it is. Anywho, yeah, I'm feeling good today. I went to the gym bright and early this morning. Saw some hot teas. Woo, it was a good time. 8.30 in the morning is my time to shine, except I look fucking crazy. But uh, we got ready. I'm always trying to play with this lighting in here, you guys, because I don't want my neighbors to see all my goodies, but this is also a blackout curtain. If I was living here longer, I'd get the um, like sticky sheets that you can put on your window that are like kind of foggy. It still lets light in, but it doesn't, you know, show everything. I would get those, but um, it's whatever now. I've been living like this for too long. So, anywho, we're gonna film this haul. Um, I'm letting my phone charge because it's pretty much dead, but yeah, we're just gonna move and groove and get her done. So. What's up you guys? I just got finished doing my haul. I ripped that shapewear off my body and back in my regular schmegular clothes. Um, so it's Friday night. It's almost 5 p.m. I'm feeling good though. I got um, content to make a uh, TikTok and Instagram reel and then I got the whole haul filmed. So we did it. We did the damn thing on a Friday. So I'm hyped, um, but anywho, I have no food in my house, so I don't know. Should I get a bottle of wine and stuff to make like a homemade pizza? I kind of just want to run over to Trader Joe's and get something. I mean, I don't really want to go at 5 p.m. on a Friday because I know it's going to be packed, but I literally don't have any food besides broccoli and gyoza. Is that how you say it? Gyoza? And I don't want that. I also could go for chicken wings, but um, Trader Joe's doesn't have good like condiments. No. Anywho though, I tried on like 15 dresses. That took a hot ass minute, but it went good. I don't really have any. I can just edit tomorrow. I can get that out of the way. We got the night to ourselves. Also, you guys, if you haven't yet watched, um, it's a show on HBO. It's called um, Scenes of a Marriage, I think it's called. Yes, yeah, Scenes of a Married Couple, something like that. You guys should watch it. It's I, At first, I was like, this is slow as fuck. And then I like kept watching, and I'm like, I hate this chick so much. If you watch it, you know. And... I was even like, I was like, am I being sexist by saying this? Because pretty much she's like a working woman. She ends up leaving her husband and child for another man and prioritizes like work over her family. And I'm like, am I being like, am, am I just, do I have that internal like um, stereotype like plugged into me? And then I was like, no, she's just actually a shitty human because I would hate a man just the same. But it kind of like it kind of switches the roles and it's an interesting concept because like you feel so bad for him but i would still feel bad for a woman in that situation i don't know you guys gotta watch it and let me know how you like it but yeah we need to go get some food i'm fucking hungry meet me in the car what's up you guys we secured the bag and by the bag i mean the trader joe's it got fucking cold outside though. Oh my god. Let me ask Siri. Hey Siri, what's the temperature right now? It's 10 degrees outside. 10 degrees, so it dropped literally 30 degrees. <laughs> it was 40 earlier, so it's gonna be a chilly weekend. Um, what the frick? It's gonna be a cold weekend, you guys, so I ended up getting a few extra groceries. I got some spaghetti, and then I got a pizza, um, like make your own pizza. So, yeah. I just wanna kinda chill tonight, and probably finish Scenes of a Marriage. That was a really good show. 
and I'm dying to know if they end together because if they do, I'm gonna scream. Oh my God, this lighting is so fire. It's like dark out, but it's my camera. Um, so yesterday I was working on my taxes and I kinda like, I don't know, I got on Instagram stories and I was kinda like frustrated. I'm like, I, I'm like really nervous to do my taxes this year and everyone's like, hire an accountant, hire a tax person. And I'm like, I don't think that will help my issue. My issue isn't filing taxes. Filing taxes is easy as fuck. It's literally copying what's on paper over onto TurboTax. Easy as hell. All my deductions are easy because I just pretty much download a spreadsheet of all like my spending and kind of like go through it. I'm really good with Excel, okay? Um, so that part is really easy. What's the hard part is my 1099s. So since I'm a YouTuber, a content creator, I am a independent contractor for any brand I work with. So for example, that would be like Google, AdSense, YouTube AdSense, um, Amazon, um, Princess Polly, Shein, any brand I've worked with and made over $600, I am an independent contractor for them. So then they have to send me a 1099 form. Well, I have received 1099 forms from everyone so I'm like I'm just kind of like confused about all of that and especially like what if the company is like outside of the US like these are all things like I just I have some questions about that and like I guess consulting with a tax person wouldn't be a bad idea but I still have to put all that stuff together either way like, a tax person can't read my mind and know what brands I've worked with, you know? I guess if I gave them access to, like, my bank account. But, like, I don't I don't know how any of that works. I've never hired someone to do my taxes. I've always done my taxes on my own using TurboTax. And that's how I did them last year when I was full-time, um, when I was a salaried employee and doing YouTube full-time. That's how I did my taxes. And it was really easy, actually. But, like, this year, um... I've made a substantial more amount of money so I just want to make sure I'm doing everything okay so I get all my benefits so you know like I'm not paying a fuck ton of money to the government because I don't know like yeah this is the first year I've made like a substantial amount of money you know all the years past I've you know pretty much broke it even with the government or they paid me or I paid like two three hundred dollars nothing too crazy but like I'm in a different tax bracket this year so I'm trying to make sure I check all of my boxes dot all of my T's and cross all of my I's you know what I mean oh that was crazy all the lights just turned on at once but anywho Thanks for listening to me rant. I'm gonna go home and um, slap together this pizza and chill. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, perfect. So, I really should have taken out my trash, but that can wait for another day. I've never tried this uh, pizza crust. It's already cooked, which is what I need. Let me see what I need to preheat this shit to. Um, got my wine, which let's pour that up right now. It's the freaking weekend. Okay. So I've got basil. I've got a tomato. I got stuff to make my spaghetti, which I didn't really think that one through. Like, who wants to have Italian like three days in a row? I guess me. Um, I got my favorite mozzarella balls and then like the sauce that's in it is so fire. So I'm going to spread that on the crust. Some pizza sauce. Some pasta sauce. All the sauces. And this looked really good. Um, it's truffle chocolate. I don't know. I've never tried that one. So I'm thinking what we're going to make is like a, um... What are those called? The pizza with the mozzarella? I don't know. Damn. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay. Step one, get all the goodness off the bottom of the mozzarella balls.
hotel lobby Me, I go through underground garages Presidential suites on deposit Elevator up to the room Shower up and then we hit the club Touchdown, gotta see what's up Area code in my phone What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man Hit another one, it goes green Must have changed foes on the team Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017 All good, Chuck, to look around Find one to sink my type Damn my dog and he know what I like He done found me plenty in my life Problem is I meet his girl tonight Then I go and treat her too nice Here's how my pizza turned out this shit is good. It's spicy though. I probably OD'd on the um, red pepper, but it's good. Now we're watching Scene from a Marriage. Hello, babes. It is Tuesday, and I spent about three hours filming TikToks. So, um, yeah, not super fun, but it was productive. You guys, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know my energy seems to be off this week I don't know what it is but I'm trying to get my life together it is probably like 1 30 right now and I have a lip filler appointment at 3 so I gotta leave here in an hour so I'm gonna try and clean up my house a little bit um yeah remember I told you guys I would go in for another appointment to touch up my lips so we'll do that later today um, I'm gonna take all my makeup off before I go and just kick it natural um but yeah i i guess tomorrow i'll probably just like edit and get some stuff out of the way i have a lot of emails to go through um so yeah it's kind of i'm trying to make a decision because someone i know reached out to me asking if i you know needed to be or i wanted management or if i was considering management and it's something i'm like kind of going back and forth in in my head like I don't I don't think my channel is big enough to where I would need that extra help if anything I need help editing so but it would also open some doors that haven't opened for me so I'm trying to decide I don't know it's also a really shitty time for me because I'm moving so like if I were to sign on with an agency um I would have to, I would probably have to decline some work that they would send my way because I'm going to be moving. I'm going to be traveling a lot these next few months, which also reminds me I need to book a flight to LA for next week. Um but I would have to turn down a lot of stuff because of the fact that I'm moving. I have too much going on in that front, but yeah. I don't know. It's something I gotta think about a little bit more, but I'm kind of leaning towards no. Not because I don't think that they wouldn't bring me like a lot of good deals and stuff like that. It's like I'm kind of a control freak, you know? <laughs> like I have, I've been riding solo since the jump, you know, negotiating all my own contracts, all my own deals. So giving up a little bit of that control, kind of freaks me out a little bit I know it would kind of relieve like a lot of the back and forth the stuff I hate doing but yeah it's a control thing <laughs> so I don't know but anywho I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and get some shit done so let's see what time it is I think it's like 1 30 1 o'clock so we have an hour and a half before I have to head over there it's about a 25 minute drive so Let's clean a little bit. Also, look at the cute ass um, AirPods holder that Velvet Caviar sent me. How cute, the little Nike woman's. It's so cute. Um, yeah, all their stuff came in this cute little box. They sent me some extra stuff like keychains. Um, besides that, I'm really excited to try this. So my friend Sierra, she's into more homeopathic remedies and she posted about this foot patch thing. So pretty much what you do is you put it on the bottom of your foot when you go to bed and it's supposed to pull out all the toxins, all of the metals, all the toxins from your body overnight. So um, 
you put it on the bottom of your foot and when you take it off in the morning it's supposed to be like really dark with all that junk i don't know i'm gonna try it tonight and i'll let you guys know how it looks um yeah i should send her a picture of this because i don't think she even knows that i got it but i'll link it if it's good it's not that i'm over you Okay, you guys, off to go get my lips done. My neck and my face don't match, but whatever. What's up, babes? I'm back from getting my lips done. Mm. They're so cute. She is the sweetest. I told her, I was like, oh, this is probably the last time I'm going to see you. I'm moving. And she's like, girl, I go to LA every once in a while. And, you know, like, if you need services done around the time that I'm there like i can send you the location i'm like oh bet that's awesome um and she said she could also hook me up with one of her older colleagues so that's so sweet but yeah they look good we just went a little bit bigger but anyways i stopped at trader joe's after because there was one like next door so let me show you what i got okay so for meats chicken i think i'm gonna make a chicken salad with some bacon in it and then um i also got salmon I got some movie theater popcorn. I've never tried this, but I'm about to dig into it. I got, I don't know what the hell this is called, but she said it was a little bit more mild than a grapefruit, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, lemon, onion, avocado, some tomatoes, mushroom, tahini sauce, which I've never tried. I need to open that up and try it. I don't know what it tastes like, but it said um, like garlic. Yeah, it's like garlic and herbs, so I'm sure it'll be good. Um, I got jalapenos, green beans, broccolini, pot stickers, a chicken fried rice, some expensive ass coffee. I hope this is good because I just needed some coffee and this said extra bold. So I hope, hopefully it's like Bustello, but like three times the price. Um, I got this tomato dumpling soup. I really want to eat this tonight, but I'm going to eat some of my fresh stuff first before I dig into this. Um... Mexico Mexican cowboy pinto beans which sound a fire and then tomato paste I got bagels to have like a little um, breakfast sandwich I always like to do a plain bagel an egg I make sriracha honey cream cheese which I'll show you tomorrow if I make it and then a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning on it. I forgot to get ham, but usually I eat ham with that, but I'll just eat some of that bacon with it. I got some naan bread to go with my tomato soup. And then I got some lettuce mix. I also got some Italian dressing and some olive oil. So, yeah, that's all I got. And it was $90. I'm like, damn, I only got two bags of stuff and it was $90, but whatever. So I'm going to season up my chicken and throw it in the oven and then put away the rest of the groceries. So let's season this thing. Morning, you guys. It is like 7:30. Um, I tried those foot pads last night, so let's take a bath. Um, my lips are looking a little swollen today, but that's to be expected. But um, yeah, let's try them. So honestly, I couldn't sleep last night till like like midnight, and I was like, oh fuck, I forgot to put these on, so I put them on, and I knocked out like instantly after. So they could be onto something but i also read mayo clinic said nah bitch nothing proves that these will actually work so i don't know they don't smell that great they kind of smell like um insect repellent kind of like mosquito spray that's fucking gross 
Ew. My foot is clean. A lot of people say that um, there's like activated charcoal in this, which, you know, as your foot's like, as you release toxins and sweat throughout the night, it just makes it change that color. So I'm going to take one of these pads and just get it wet with water and see what happens. But damn, there is a lot of liquid. That's nasty. Let's see the other one. Oh shit, this one got stuck. That's crazy. <laughs> Don't judge me. That's gross though. I had to try it. So, I don't know, but I gotta wash my feet off instantly. I don't know what the fuck that is. Bitch, I'm a little grossed out. I don't feel any better this morning. <laughs> Not whatsoever. Some people in the Amazon comments was saying like, oh, I felt like instantly more energized. Bitch, nah. <laughs> I don't feel energized at all today, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm supposed to get my period today, and I'm like, fuck. Predicting day one. Great, so. Yeah, that was my little experiment. I'll link them in the description box if you want to try them. But let me get one of the pads and like get it wet. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit while I'm in the shower and I'll show you how it looks in a little bit. All right, so there you have it. I'll insert a picture of how it looked from my feet versus this. You guys come up with your own conclusions. <laughs> I don't really wanna peel that out of the trash. So you guys, the agenda for today is I am going and getting um, my nails done. I really liked like being able to do cool ass nails with this girl because I really like her. Um, she's super chill and super sweet and she can kind of do anything so it's pretty fire. Um, so I think we're going to go like baby blue, uh, Tiffany blue tips and then like a darker blue outlining the French tip here. I'll show you guys once I get it done. I'm going to go in with my watermelon glow recipe toner i love this shit i will be repurchasing it but this thing has lasted me months because i don't use it with the cotton pad i just put it in my hand and then put it on my face so my face is kind of not as good as it was for a while you guys and i think it's because i started using this neutrogena makeup remover Boom, and yeah, it's not doing me as well as the Good Molecules. I still use the Good Molecules, but I was washing my face and taking the makeup off with that as well. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my Snail Mucin. This helps so much. And you guys were asking me for a good moisturizer, and girl, I have not found one. So I've been using this. Um, this is supposed to be like a dupe for the CeraVe Nighttime Facial Cleanser or the Cetaphil. One of those two. I always get them mixed up, but it's from Walgreens. I've been using this as a daytime moisturizer just because it's a little thicker than um, the regular CeraVe moisturizers. I don't like it though. <laughs> I don't like it at all. My face, like, a minute later, it doesn't feel moisturized at all. So, if you guys have any moisturizers, drop them in the comments, please. I need to try something new. But yeah. I must have not removed all my eye makeup. I tried this new coffee brand. It was giving me Bustello vibes, but... Three times more expensive it's called illy and first things first it's airtight so you have to like peel back like a can you know like peel up a can you have to do that and the coffee just went everywhere so already off to a terrible start um but let's taste test it 
It's not totally fair since I just brushed my teeth, so let me take a few more sips. <laughs> this shit is strong. Yeah, it's a little bit more bitter and less smooth than Mustello, but it's pretty good. Anywho, you guys, last night I got an email from um, Amazon. Amazon, they're home influencers. They want to bring me on as, like, a household home influencer so that's pretty cool I'm gonna be including that once I start moving you know I'll show you guys all my Amazon finds for home so that kind of came at a better time so that's really awesome so I was thinking we should make my bagel okay so I got these mini little pots that perfectly fit into like an English muffin or um, a bagel so I'm just going to Throw a little bit of oil in her. And while we've got that cooking, I'm gonna throw this into the air fryer. Okay, so to make some sriracha cream cheese, um, you need honey and sriracha, and that is literally it. So I love this, so I'm gonna make a whole batch of it. Otherwise you could, you know, cut it and put it in a little container or something, but this is the shit. Okay, just kidding, I'm putting it in another container. breakfast person but every time I eat this I'm like oh yum breakfast sandwiches yes ma'am what's up friends I know this lighting is trash I think we'll change directions in the next few moments um, I'm on my way to get my nails done and I just like realized like 10 minutes ago it's been a damn month this is why I'm probably not the best girl to do nail appointments because you guys already know I hate going to appointments. Um, I've been trying to regularly keep up with my waxing appointments because it hurts so much less if you keep up with it regularly. Um, and then my nail appointments. But honestly, getting waxed for who? <laughs> for why? Like... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep up with it that much longer. I went and got waxed for Jamaica, but um, yeah, like I, it's not really that serious, honestly. <laughs> My thighs are thick enough where you don't see any of the hair anyways, really, like even if it's grown out a little bit. So yeah, but I am going to keep up with my nails because I fucking love her work. Um, but anywho, I booked a trip to LA for next week, so we'll probably end up the, this vlog um, sometime this weekend, I'm thinking, and then um, I'll have a little exploring LA vlog coming soon. So yeah, I was a dumbass and I didn't book my flight until last minute, so it was it was a pretty penny, but whatever. It needs to be done. What's done is done, and what needs to be done has to be done. So, that's what's up. Um, so, yeah, we're going from, I think, either Wednesday or Thursday to Monday. I think it's Thursday to Monday. So, I think that's going to be the perfect amount of time. Um, I think I'm going to schedule a few apartment tours in, like, different neighborhoods just to kind of get the vibes and to kind of see what's out there. I've been um, all afternoon while I was working, I was kind of listening to people like talk about their experiences moving to LA and some lady was complaining about roaches and okay girl, I can live with mice, I can live with centipedes, I cannot live with fucking roaches, <laughs> mark my words, no, I lived 
in a mice infested house for like, it was about three years because we moved from one place to a second place and they, we have mice constantly and that's gross enough as it is but roaches, I don't know, I've never had roaches so maybe it is better than mice but I can't imagine it is because I fucking hate insects. I can't, like it just, it grosses me out. I can do spiders, you know, I can do, I can do all that. Not roaches though, but maybe, I mean, I hope not, <laughs> but maybe I can, maybe if they're not as big of a deal, but I don't know. I hear once you get like one roach, like it's an infestation pretty much. So anywho, yeah, we're going to LA next week and then two weeks after I get back, we're going to Mexico. I don't know if I told you guys about this trip, but it's it's a little getaway with two of my best friends. Uh, one of my friends who lives in San Francisco and then my other best friend who I used to live with. So we're doing a little um, girls trip. I think it's about five or six days. We're going to Islas Mujeres and it's gonna be amazing. Let me see, I gotta take south, okay. So yeah, super hyped about that. Um, so yeah, obviously I'll take you guys along. I know my last Jamaica vlog was kind of all over the place, so I'm hoping to vlog better, but er, girl, I kind of doubt it. Like I kind of understand why um, vloggers don't vlog their vacations because, you know, if you're used to a certain type of quality with your vlogs, you just don't get that same kind of quality because you're constantly going, you know, you want to be present with your friends and also enjoy your vacation. So, I don't know. Follow me on Instagram. That's the easiest to post little updates about my vacation. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try. And then, so, yeah, that's my trip for March. And after March, it's April, and that's go time. I kind of found out a solution that I think is gonna work really good for me for moving. So it's called these U-Haul packs. So pretty much you can um, either go grab one of these packs from U-Haul and a pack will fit like a studio's worth of shit in it, which is exactly what I need. So um, I'm mainly just taking clothes, shoes, a few kitchen things, you know, like I'm pretty much selling all of my furniture, so it's really just like the knick-knack stuff that I want to be able to bring. So, um, so you can either rent a truck, a U-Haul truck, and they can hitch the pack to the back of the U-Haul truck, or you can bring your own truck, or you can have them bring the pack to like your apartment or your house or whatever, and um, and then you bring it back to U-Haul. And then they'll ship it for you to anywhere you want to go, pretty much. And so I plugged in my information from, you know, my zip code to LA, and it's going to be about $1,200. And I think that's probably the best way to go. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, that might be really insanely expensive, but you have to add up the fact that, like, I would have to probably do two nights in hotels, gas, um... What else? Uh, and also the fact, like, that's kind of trading my time as well, honestly. Like, I'm just not, I'm not in the position to drive 25, 26 hours. I've never driven more than four hours, so I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, it's like a vacation. <laughs> like, we're, we'll just count this as a vacation because it's the same price. I'm just gonna have my stuff shipped there, take a flight, and go there. And yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, it seems like a really straightforward system, so if you're kind of in the same boat, or like maybe you have some time in between like apartments, you can get one of these packs, and um, they'll store it up to 30 days for you. So that's kind of a cool option. I mean, that's only if like you're maybe moving from state to state, it'd probably be cheaper just to get a storage unit but um, this makes sense for me so and it says it takes 16 days to ship to you and if they're delayed at all they're gonna um, credit you $50 every day they're late so that kind of reassures me that oh you know like this could probably work so anywho 
I'm in rush hour, you guys, so I'm gonna go because people are starting to drive kind of crazy, so I'll see you later. Here's how my nails turned out. They are so cool. Bro, it's the detail for me. So you guys, it is 6.30. I made some dinner and was just chilling for a little bit. Now I'm gonna start editing this vlog. Look how cute. I'm also gonna do some self tanner because I have to film a video tomorrow. So yeah, we're just gonna chill for a little bit, edit, and do my nighttime routine. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. Good morning, good morning. You guys, what day is it, girl? It's Thursday. <laughs> I have to remind myself. Um, I just got ready, full beat. Oh my God, I don't wanna talk about that. <laughs> but you guys, I'm feeling myself today. We are finally ready to film. Um, I'm doing like an integrated video with a shapewear brand that I'm really cool with, so that's awesome. They just asked me like yesterday, they were like, are you by chance uploading something on the 18th? which I think the 18th is tomorrow. And I was like, nur, <laughs> nur, 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 but I will be uploaded next week. So they're cool with that. And we are going to get poppin'. Um, you'll probably, no, you probably will see this vlog before that video's out. Shari? Mm. I don't know if Marc Jacobs is discontinued or if, um, this was just like about to expire or something, but like Sephora had a sale on all of their Marc Jacobs, like 50% off. And I got this lip gloss called Moon Glow. It's really light, like milky pink. Mm, it's so good. And it's minty. It's everything. But <clears throat> anywho, you guys, yeah, I got to get ready to film. I was listening to Sarah Ray Vargas's vlog this morning and she was talking about imposter syndrome and I was like you finally put words to what I've been feeling <laughs> I have like I've always known what that meant but I could never really put words to it so I don't know as of lately I have been you start getting like oh my god not my eyelash sticking to my bottom lash oh so as I moved into like a full-time content creator, you know, obviously I follow bigger content creators. Sometimes I feel like an imposter. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm never gonna hit like where you're at. And that's okay. Like my my goal is not to be the biggest, baddest thing on the block because you know, like I feel like that comes with a whole nother set of challenges. Like people are on your ass saying you know, like critiquing every little thing you say or do, and I don't want that, like, no. But, <laughs> but I do sort of feel like imposter syndrome or like comparing myself to other creators, like what are they doing that, like why do they have so many more followers than me and we're like doing the same damn thing or like, you know, something like that. And honestly, I need to, I need to like, I think I need to like check out of being on Instagram so much because that's the only space I feel that, you know, because you can compare like stats, like likes, comments, you know, all of that. And on Instagram, there's like a, there's like a push to post every day. And that is gonna wear anyone out. I don't care if you have a whole team of people, you know, or if you're just super organized, posting and being on your shit every day is gonna wear you out. And so I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm spending too much time on Instagram because that's the only place that where I feel like I'm not doing enough. And you know, all the time I'm putting into Instagram, I could be putting into YouTube, which I've said time and time again, that is where I really care about. That's where, you know, I that's what I want to grow. I don't really care about my Instagram. My Instagram is cool. It's a way for me to connect with everyone and like to have a quick conversation on stories, but that's not that's not where I want to grow, you know? So, I'm going to try and start being a little bit more mindful about spending less time on Instagram, you know, maybe hop on there like once or twice a day. Um, 
and you know still keep up with everyone still post some stuff but not like mindlessly scrolling because when I start scrolling and see what other people are doing maybe they're doing it better than me or whatever that's when I get in my head so I hope that makes sense I don't know it's hard it's hard to put into words because you know like you know I've, I've started in the same position as a lot of creators like we kind of started in the same ballpark and some have exploded some are you know moving at a slower rate and some are moving at the same rate as me I'm always comparing myself to some content creators who have exploded and you know like I, I don't want that like I don't want that feeling I don't want that type of relation I don't want that to come out in our relationship or anything like that because I'm not a competitive person I have never been competitive you guys ever since you know like gym class girl no competition but I do you know I think everyone kind of struggles with like you know comparing themselves to others you know so you see like some people um, you know maybe making more money or maybe having you know a relationship or they're skinny you know you always compare yourself to others but where does that stem from like where does the comparison stem from for for me I think it's Instagram I think Instagram is not a space where people really show like their true authentic self like YouTube like you know I'm having this conversation and you know it's vulnerable you don't see that on Instagram you only see like the highlights and I think everyone knows that you know but you have to kind of remind yourself like oh I'm just seeing the highlight of people I'm just seeing them at their best angles on a vacation that's what you see on Instagram you don't really see like the true reality of their life and um, so yeah <laughs> long story short is I think I need to spend less time on Instagram more time like focused on YouTube like if I don't have all these outside thoughts of like how a creator should be and how I should perform I think I'll perform better so yeah I think I'm gonna spend less time on Instagram because I am trying to compare myself to content creators on Instagram and Instagram is their bread and butter and it's not my bread and butter it's never been I mean you know if I wanted to post every day on Instagram I would have to trade that I would have to trade out YouTube for that like there's you cannot be doing all that writing solo editing everything coming up with captions links all of it it's a full-time job being an Instagram content creator and I need to realize that maybe the reason why I don't perform as well on Instagram or I haven't blown up on Instagram is because it's not my bread and butter you know what I mean Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. I could just be rambling, but that kind of resonated me with me this morning because she was talking about imposter syndrome, how people feel like, you know, like even, even celebrities, even pro athletes, everyone feels a sense of imposter syndrome where you don't feel good enough, you know, against like your competitors or like your colleagues or like people, you know, that are kind of in the same industry. And I mean... That's 1000% true. Like, when I first started out YouTube, I was like, oh my god, people are gonna make fun of me. Like, what the fuck am I doing? And I did it. You know, I'm still doing the damn thing, but you have to get over that. But, like, once you're in it deep, you also feel a, cer a certain type of like imposter syndrome as well. Like, especially moving to LA, that's something I've been thinking about a lot. I'm like, I do not need to hang out with other content creators when I move to LA. That's not. I mean, yeah, it, I might meet some really cool people, but I don't want to be, like, part of, like, the popular content creator crew. Like, I don't, no, that's not necessary for me. I want to move out to L.A. to have new experiences, you know, like, have a vibrant culture around me, um, you know, just to meet some cool-ass people and also live somewhere warm. <laughs> like, I want to make sure I'm never, like, you know hanging out with someone just because of like their popularity like no that that's never been me if I wanted to I could have been hanging out with popular people but I like hanging out with people based on like how they make me feel about myself how we enjoy our time together like how much we're laughing smiling so yeah 
it's I didn't <laughs> that kind of freaks me out about moving to LA is like I do not want to get wrapped up in any sort of social scene that feels fake and is like you know and that can happen in LA so I don't know girl I just don't know what this rant was but if you feel like you have some sort of imposter syndrome or you know things are not moving at the pace you originally thought they would just give it time you know put in that work and give it time because everyone moves at their own pace and you can compare yourself to your friends who maybe have really great jobs at this point or who are married fuck it that's not your that's not your story that's not your journey you're gonna find your happiness and that's that's the most important part is like you know a lot of people put out a front that they're you know happy and successful and you know the best mom ever or anything like that they put that front out and you know behind closed doors it's not as pretty as it looks most of the time you know we all struggle with our own issues our own relationships money everything we're all struggling with it so you know if you feel like you're kind of left in the dust or you feel like like you're kind of in limbo with where your life is headed just give it time but do your research do your work make sure you know you spend a little bit of time every day kind of looking into different options especially like if I know a lot of women are starting to kind of feel like the itch to get into a relationship in their like late 20s early 30s or even late 30s I don't know I can't I can't resonate with that because I'm only 27 but I'm sure there's an itch for a lot of women you know like I want to settle down I want to have a family but like your time will come but in the meanwhile what can you do to like fulfill yourself that's like the main thing how can I fulfill myself I can spend more time trying new things I grow most when like you know like I'm doing new exciting things that I've never tried before um, so like that could be like dating kind of dating outside of what you typically thought you would end up with or you know trying like a new workout class meeting people in different kind of social scenes than you're used to like there are so many ways to you know keep moving forward towards your goal like your end goal but without all the pressures of it you know so I don't know I don't know what that whole rant was but <laughs> um yeah I was thinking about that this morning I'm like you know what I, I just needed to kind of like think of the root cause of why I've been feeling this way like I I feel like a little emotionally drained or like oh, not emotionally like work drained because I'm like I'm not really growing like I'm not growing like or you know getting bigger like some of my friends are and that's okay you know we all bring different personality different spice into this world and some people are gonna love it some people aren't you know some people are gonna love my style and resonate with that and some people are gonna love some of my other content creator friends style like we all have our own little spice <sighs> I need to get to filming. I'm filming a big old Amazon haul today. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do an Amazon live tonight, but I think I'm going to film this haul. Um, I want to really put my all into this haul because it's been a while since I like sat down and took multiple days to edit something because I just haven't been in the mood. I've been kind of fighting time with, you know, editing stuff and, you know, getting it up. So I want to put I want to put a little bit more work into this haul. Um, I might be going on a date on Sunday. I met this guy um, and apparently we had already talked on Hinge because I already had his number saved in my phone but um, yeah I met him out during the Super Bowl. He was super cute, um, moved here recently and so we might go on a date. We might not. I don't know. He said he's going out Saturday night and would love to do something on Sunday. I'm like, I don't know. If I go out on Saturday night, I'm usually too hungover, but we'll see. I don't really have any high expectations. And honestly, do I have time to be dating someone in the next three months? Not at all. So, I don't know. I don't want to, like, lead anyone on and be like, you know, like, take me out on a bunch of dates. Like, there's going to, you know, there's... The end is going to be me moving, no matter what, so I don't know. I'm going to go, though. 
it's been a while since I got my flirt on in like an intimate setting so yeah if things come through I'll let you guys know but I'm not too worried about it um but yeah just got another iced coffee my nails look so freaking cute also remind me you guys I need to go pick up my camera my new body of my camera came in the mail but apparently I wasn't home but I swear to god they did not even like um, ring my buzzer or they didn't they didn't knock on my door because I was home all day on Monday and I would have seen that but they said they tried to deliver it they didn't so I have to go pick it up from the mail post office which is fine like my boy is over there <laughs> he's like this 60 year old man who always talks to me for so long he's so sweet um but yeah i gotta go over there and pick up the body of my camera i spent a bag on this camera just as an investment because i'm like we're taking it to the next level in 2022 period so yeah, i'm so excited this is not okay Hopefully it doesn't come off like that on camera. Ugh. You guys, don't mind all the shit on my bed, but check out this little selfie system I got going on. So so this is a really old tripod from Amazon um, that I barely use, but I do bring it out for selfies because it's really easy to collapse, but I was able to stick my little selfie light on it. I freaking love this thing and it's gonna make my pictures look bomb. So I think I'm gonna sneak out into my parking garage and get these pics real quick girl be right back you guys I'm back home like I never left honestly though this little combo makes shooting pictures so easy like I've always struggled with the lighting that's my main thing either it's too early in the day or it's too late at night and that light just gives you bomb lighting I was kind of scared to shoot in my apartment um, parking garage because you know like my neighbors gonna walk down and see me but no one walked down so that was cool um, I got quite a few pictures so I'm sure I can find one in that and I also tracked down my package so let's see what's up I hope nothing's wrong with it it's always tricky buying on eBay but I've had really good luck buying cameras on eBay like Oh my god, it was the cutest. One time, um, this camera that I'm filming on, I bought this camera, and it was from an elderly couple, and they didn't take out the SD card in it, so, so I opened up the camera, and all these pictures from their Ireland trip were on it. I was freaking dying. My new baby! Look how freaking chonky this is. Okay. They give me a battery with it or not? Oh, they did give me a battery. Bomb. Okay, battery goes in there. And then little viewfinder on the side. So this is gonna be great for taking Instagram pictures, Instagram footage. I wanna play with it right now, but I don't have a lens. <laughs> I gotta wait for the lens to come in, but I'm so hyped, you guys. This is the EOS 90D. Um, if you want to see the quality of the pictures, check out Tamara Renee um, on YouTube and on Instagram. She takes the best pictures. They look crisp, girl, crisp. And I was like, you know what? Let me just bite the bullet and get her camera. So I did. Um, it was expensive. Um, I think the body was, I don't know, I paid $1,300 in total for um, both the body and the lens. And I have a Sigma lens coming soon, but they haven't updated the tracking information on eBay, so I'm gonna have to follow up with them. I need my camera stat. You guys, my lens came. It's only been like 20 minutes. I was just looking at my emails and we got one. Hey, hey, hey. Let's open this bad boy up and see what's popping. Now I kind of want to retake my pictures in the outfit that I just shot. Because why not? That's a big boy. 
Will my tripods hold this thing? Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna need to order a better quality tripod, to be quite honest. But yeah, I really, I mean, I love this camera that I'm filming on, but. This is another level. I should probably read on how to use this first before I just start willy-nilly shooting. Oh my god, I feel legit. This thing is like, maybe seven, eight pounds. She's dense. So, let me take the memory card out of you and I'm gonna play with this. What's good, you guys? Happy Friday! We started this vlog on a Friday. We're ending it on a Friday. A true weekly vlog. But yeah, you guys, most of today has consisted of editing this vlog. So I'm super excited to get it up for you guys. Even though we didn't really do a whole lot. We kind of just ranted most of the time. I still love hanging out with you guys and keeping you guys updated on my life. But yeah, as far as this weekend, I'm trying to find a friend who wants to go to brunch with me tomorrow. I think that would be fun. One of my friends wants to go to an ice castle, and I'm like, bitch, it's too cold to be doing shit like that. It's like 20 degrees, so I don't know about all that, but yeah. Anywho, I've also been playing around with my new camera. Um, I shot some pictures on it. I just wanted to play around with it. I still need to learn like the settings and stuff because I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go and the pictures are going to be fired. Just believe that. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, but yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'll keep you updated if my date happens. Probably not, but um, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in LA. It's gonna be a chaotic um, vlog. I already know it. We're gonna be moving around a lot, but I'm definitely gonna film a lot because I wanna have that to um, look back at when I'm, you know, kind of making my decision on neighborhoods. So. You will be coming with me, so I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!